Hey, hey, so we've got the Jets to break down. Um, beginning of free agency here, and they've already made some splashes. Now, you've got a lot of cap space. You've got young, talented players on offense and defense to build around, um, and a fresh, not so fresh, head coach. Uh, Adam Gase just came from the Dolphins. Um, he was not fired because he was bad, okay? He was fired because he disagreed with ownership about whether or not the Dolphins needed to rebuild. Okay, that, that's it. Let's make that plain right now. Adam Gase is going to be fantastic for the offensive side of the ball. That's his focus. That's where they're going to pick up their talent, okay? Which is weird to say, because they've already fixed the biggest need on their defense, which is their linebacking core. C.J. Mosley from the Ravens and Anthony Barr from Minnesota. I mean, the biggest names for linebackers out there in free agency both go to the Jets, that's fantastic, all right? So your defense is fixed. The offensive line was great last year. The defensive secondary is pretty darn good. And your only glaring hole right in the middle of that linebacking core, now fixed. Adam Gase is going to focus on offense. Now he needs to build his offense, his culture. That's why the draft is important. They're going to draft receivers, some linemen, um, they're going to make, make it so the young talent on the offense fits the core philosophy for Adam Gase. That's very important for a first-year head coach to establish their identity, establish their foundation on the team. And because Gase is offense first, he's going to worry about offense. Now, there's one name still lingering out there on the market on everybody's lips. It's Le'Veon Bell. That is the coup. And I honestly expect him to come to the Jets. There's only five or six teams that have the money and the will to talk to Le'Veon Bell. The Jets are one of them. Now, the team that he would go for if he wants to win is Indianapolis. They've got a quarterback. They were deep in the playoffs last year. They've got a great offensive line um, and you know, great receivers. So he's not going to be the only person to worry about. And they've got the money to pay for him. But here's the thing. T players like these um, little sponsorship deals that they can pick up with car dealerships or uh, local clothing lines, things like that. They're side hustle money. All right. Now, Gronkowski has lived off of nothing but his side hustle money. He hasn't touched his actual contract. There have been other players like that. Marshawn Lynch famously did the same thing. So side hustle money is important. Bell is going to get the most of it in New York. He held out in Pittsburgh because he wanted more money. He wanted security money, okay? That's what the NFL contract is. That's your retirement fund. So um, I expect Le'Veon to sign with the Jets. He's got a lot of options, but to me, for his personality, the Jets make the most sense. Keep your eyes peeled. That'll be coming in a few days, I'm sure.